Hi, this is Chris Drosboff from Roger Williams University. Um, one of the questions that I'm going to be answering in this that I've been hearing a lot, especially from new catalogers, is is there an easier way to find information, uh, metadata information, about an image when all you really have is the image to go on? Um, and that's something that I have been working with for a little while and always had that question in the back of my mind. There's got to be an easier way to do this. Well, there is now. It's called TenEye.com. Now, it's not a perfect tool. It's still in its beta stages. But what TenEye is, is a reverse image search. So what you do is you plug in the image. It then scans the image for the, the major th roots of it and then starts looking across the internet to find things that are similar. Um, sometimes it works extremely well, sometimes you just won't have any, uh, any um, positive searches. But it's one of these things that, in your last case scenario, this is a good thing to try, and if you can't, then it's no big deal. Um, so what I'm going to actually do, especially for, in this tutorial, is show you how to use Tenai, especially from um, if you're cataloging from images on MDID or going to be in MDID. Um, as well. So let's go ahead and start. I've already opened up a tab for our MDID collection and let's say that the first one, the tribute money from Masaccio, if we didn't have any information, all we had the images, um, let's say we were going to be able to pull this image from MDID and do the search. So I'm going to save the file, download the file, which I have already done, and then flipping back to 10i uh, in the upload, I just browse, find the image, open, and then it does the searching thing. Uh, what you've actually been able to see is we've had a successful uh, uh, trip through 10i. It says that we have 35 results. And then what I usually do is just go through the web pages and see if I can find some information about it. Uh, so this way, sometimes, again, you're not having very much luck, but even if it's in a foreign language, uh, tribute money, 1426 to 1427, uh, and they've got Masashio up here. You might not have all the information that you need, but you're able to pick up a few more breadcrumbs to help do a successful search later. So that's just one way to be able to use 10i. Now, another great thing about 10i is that they do have a way to um, have a plugin. If you're just plugging away on, say, Google Images and you're looking for the expulsion from the Garden of Eden by the same artist, you can actually right click on any image online and just go down to search image on 10i. And it'll do the same search. And again, this time we have 73. And you just go um, and try to find something that will have a little bit more information than what you actually had. Um, so Tenai is a great tool to use in case you have no information. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But overall, it's something that's kind of fun and it can be very helpful in some of those uh, worst case scenarios.